Right now, breaking news on News Channel 8. Anger, frustration, and unbelievable heartache in Florida tonight. A second American and former UCF student is brutally murdered on video. Now the race is on to learn more about the ISIS terrorists who still hold at least two more Americans. Good evening, I'm Keith Cape. I'm Gail Sirens. Thank you for joining us this evening. We have live team coverage on the death of Stephen Sotloff. Let's begin with Candace McCowan, live from the campus of UCF in Orlando. Good evening, Gail. Good evening, Keith. Stephen Sotloff was a student here a decade ago. He worked for the Central Florida Future, the student newspaper here. And tomorrow night, students and friends, they will hold a memorial here at the Reflecting Pond on UCF's campus in his honor. I was in one of the classrooms and I actually just heard, overheard somebody say they beheaded the journalist and I immediately knew what they were talking about. Fear and shock. It's how UCF student Melissa Cotolonato felt after hearing about Steven Sotloff. Not only was this a UCF student, it was a UCF journalist and you know that's one of our own. For several weeks, the threat on Sotloff's life was well known. ISIS leader showed his face after beheading journalist James Foley on camera, threatening to kill Sotloff if American airstrikes didn't stop. Satloff's mother pled for her son's release. As a mother, I ask your justice to be merciful and not punish my son for matters he has no control over. Then Tuesday, a second video emerged. I'm back, Obama. Then Satloff's death. Tonight, this mother. He's an innocent journalist. I've always learned that you, the caliph, can grant amnesty. I ask you to please release my child is in mourning. It's scary that, you know, this is the career we're choosing to go into and these are the risks that come with this career. And those who hope to follow in Sotloff's footsteps reflect on what happened. It was sad and tragic and I hope we do something about it. It kind of feels like we're losing a relative almost. And Sotloff friends, um, students here on campus will be remembering him tomorrow night at the Reflecting Pond at 9 o'clock. Those who knew him here at the university have been asked not to comment about what happened. And those who are friends with him, his family have asked them not to speak at this time. Keith? Candace McCowan reporting live in Orlando. Thanks.